Balaam's donkey. Balak, king of the Moabites, looked with fear on the tribes of Israel who were surrounding his land. He sent messengers to the fortune teller Balaam, asking him to curse this people so he could defeat them in battle. But God had spoken to Balaam, You must not curse the people of Israel, for they are my chosen people. When Balak's messengers arrived, Balaam told them no, if they were to offer Balak's house his gold, silver, he would not go against God. That night God spoke again to Balaam, Go with these men and do as I tell you. So he went with Balak's men. Suddenly the angel of the Lord appeared blocking the path, drawn sword in his hand. Balaam was not able to see it. The donkey saw the angel, shied away, turning off the road and into a field. Next the angel barred a path that led through a fat vineyard between high walls. Balaam was not able to see it. Again the donkey saw him, squeezed up against the wall, crushing Balaam's foot. Again she was beaten. The angel appeared a third time, standing in the middle of a narrow path. No room to turn left or right. Balaam was not able to see it. When the donkey saw the angel, she lay down on the ground. Balaam was very angry and beat her twice as hard. God gave the donkey power of speech. Why do you hit me? she asked. Furious, Balaam said, Because you disobeyed me, if I had a sword I would kill you. Then God opened his eyes and he saw the angel. Now Balaam can see the angel. Balak greeted Balaam and took him to the mountains. Balaam went high on the mountain top saw the tribes of Israel below. Balaam blessed the Israelites like God had told him. Balak was very angry. He said, I asked you to curse my enemies. Instead you blessed them. I would have given you all riches. Now you will go empty handed. So Balaam went home to Pethor by the river.